let's say we have a container holding some liquid. This container is entirely filled with this liquid. I consider a point just above the surface of the liquid here. Name it as A. A point right at the surface of the liquid, I name it as B. And a point within the bulk of the liquid, I name it as C. At A, at A, the potential energy of the molecules should be zero. Considering I am referring to some point which is in the vicinity of A. So the potential energy of any molecule of this liquid which is just above the surface is zero. Remember when we are saying zero, we are considering at a high energy level. So the potential energy or PE of molecules of the liquid is zero. If you consider the point P which is just at the surface of the interface of this liquid and let's say this is surrounded by air at P let's say the potential energy of molecules say is PE equals minus EV by 2. What is this EV we will be discussing later on. For the time being let me just state that this is holding true. At C which is in the bulk of the liquid potential energy of a molecule Consider only one molecule for now is minus EB. So, what we see is this. Now, the values EB, this is basically positive. This is all from experimental observation. So, let EB be anything, but it is positive and if we write potential energy being negative of EB, the entire potential energy becomes negative quantity. So we see that at point C, the potential energy the, is the most negative, then at the surface and then just above the surface. So the potential energy is the least in the bulk states that the molecules within the bulk of the liquid are the most stable molecules. All this has been in equilibrium. So what we see is that potential energy differs within the bulk and liquid interface. This being by 2 states that this quantity magnitude wise is lesser than this but absolutely this is higher than minus EB. So basically minus EB is greater than minus EB by 2 sorry is less than minus EB by 2 and is less than 0. Let me state some more things related to this. So what we found was potential energy differs within the bulk and liquid surface. What other thing we found was potential energy is negative within liquid bulk. We also found 
that potential energy is negative at surface but it is greater than the PE at the bulk. Molecules are stable or say are at equilibrium but at different energy levels. One more thing what I would like to state here is a liquid in general or let's say a liquid will have a tendency to reduce its surface area. So basically it is energetically unfavorable for a liquid to have a surface. This sounds very uncommon because all the liquid we see in our daily life, let's say it is a surface of a lake or the surface of water in a, in a glass, whatever it is, it looks very stable. But actually from an energy, energetic point of view, we have found that it is unfavorable for a liquid to have a surface. So, it is energetically unfavorable for a liquid to have a surface. So what it does, the liquid, the liquid tends to reduce its surface. So the liquid tends to take a shape with minimum surface area. This is what generally occurs. Let me give you a lively example to demonstrate what I have just stated. We have seen that whatever drops or small particles of water we see in the air or let's say we spray something, we see the liquid drops going in the air or whatever we see in our daily life is basically spherical. The shape of a liquid drop being spherical is basically an outcome of the fact that liquids will, take to, will tend to take a shape with minimum surface area. Otherwise we would have seen drops which are, which are of this format or let's say drop which are of this format but we don't see these. What we see is a spherical drop. Now this is what an ideal situation is. In real life, this liquid drop has some weight and gravity will try to pull it down. Because of that, there is a slight distortion in the shape of the liquid drop. This is what a practical liquid drop looks like. So what we found was Attaining a shape of a sphere or a spherical drop, a liquid can tend to attain the minimum possible surface area. However, there are a lot of other things to be kept in mind while we analyze these kind of situations. Let's come to surface tension now. <laughs> 